is Nicole with FRN here with another unboxing. Now this unboxing I am so excited about. This is an unboxing we have not done yet on the FRN channel. And well, it has something to do with this little girl right here on my shirt. Yes, Hello Kitty. Now, let me tell you about Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty is probably my one of my favorite pop culture icons. She started in the 70s and she's still here, y'all. So before I get to the unboxing, I just wanted to tell y'all, I love Hello Kitty. Um, as I just said in the intro, I love Hello Kitty. And while Chris and I were on our honeymoon, not only did we go to Disney, which you see all of the Disney's behind me, but we also went to Universal Studios because we love Universal Studios. And the first time we went, I was really sick. I was running a hundred and something degree fever. I had to stay home our last day at Universal the first time we went, November in 2018. And so I was really excited because that last day I missed going to the ginormous Hello Kitty store that they had. And so when we were on our honeymoon, yes, we went to Disney World, but I didn't buy Mickey ears. Oh yes, I bought Hello Kitty ears with a custom bow. And I bought my Hello Kitty psycho shirt i love this shirt and i bought hello i went hello kitty crazy because i missed the hello kitty store last time we were there and that was the first place we went now the newest members of my hello kitty collection uh i just got yesterday but let me just explain why i'm so excited for my newest member before we do our unboxing um one of my favorite things in the world is anime and manga i love it love it love it um my I started reading and watching when I was a sophomore in high school, which would have been around 2005, 2006. So I've, I've been in this game for a, a, a little bit, but I love, um, I started, when I started reading, I started reading over on High School Host Club, Fruits Baskets, um, Absolute Boyfriend. Um, my, I watched all, I watched all those animes. Absolute Boyfriend didn't have an anime. And then one of my favorites, one of my favorites that I don't think it's enough love that I absolutely adore is um, um, Assassination Classroom. I keep trying to find a stuffed Koro Sensei, but I just can't find him anywhere. But I'm still going to be on the look when all the uh, the Comic-Cons open back up. But um, my current obsession, and I have no clue how many times I've watched the entire series through, even though, for, even though, even though, <laughs> I can't talk today, season four the dub hasn't completely come out. I was so enthralled with the story. I was like, I'm going sub. I'm going sub. It's My Hero Academia. I I love the story. I think it's so good. I, I, I like superheroes. I've always liked the ones that are about school and everything. Um, but My Hero, it's just so, so well done and, and, and really good. So, I, I mean, I even have it on my purse. I'm, I... I, I'll tell you how I got this purse too. My birthday uh, was day one of the lockdown when everything closed and I was feeling it. I was like, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And so the, the Monday before my birthday, the, or right before my birthday, I told Chris, I was like, everything's going to close down this week. I just feel it. I was like, my office just closed down. Everything's going to close down. Let's go to Hot Topic because for my birthday, I want that My Hero bag. And we got it. We were able to, to get one of the last ones. And I'm so excited. And I even have a little um, Funko of All Might. The, they just didn't have the, the Funko of Mei Hatsume. And so I maybe I might go to Hot Topic with my mask and everything. And see if I can get little Mei. Because she's a Hot Topic exclusive. But yeah. I mean I even have Bakugo with his Disney ears. So I'm still staying true to my Disney. But uh I just love my hero and I, I I promise my hero is a part of Hello Kitty. Like this video does have a theme. That's because I just got these. The My Hero Academia Hello Kitty Collaboration Funko Pops. Now I do have other parts of this collaboration. I have a shirt with All Might and Hello Kitty in the pocket. And I also have a shirt with Kuropi and um, Sue. And Sue's, Sue's my favorite character. I love her. I think she's great. But um, we we didn't get them all. I got 
um, the ones that I really, really, really wanted. And I can wait for the others, like uh, Deku and Batsumi Rose Bakugo. Um, but, oh, they didn't have Toto, uh, Tuxedo Same as Todoroki, which that is one I do want because I do like Todoroki. But these are the ones I wanted the most. And this is Hello Kitty as All Might. Oh, that's so good. And then I have, I can never pronounce her name, guys. I'm a bad anime fan. But um, Ochako, My Melody is as Ochako. How cool is this? I'm not going to take them out of the box. Um, My other Hello Kitty Funko Pops, which I have Gamer Hello Kitty. I have the Chase 8-Bit Hello Kitty. And I also have the Hello Kitty Bakery Kitty because Chris, before we were married, um, the Hello Kitty Bakery, which is a big, which is a thing in Japan, came over here in a food truck style and I had to work that day. And so Chris waited two hours in line to get me a water bottle, which is a really cool water bottle. He got me one for work. I, it's at my office. Um, I can't go get it because we are shut down um, right now. He got me a shirt that says the Hello Kitty Bakery. He got me some little baked goods, um, stickers, and a, and a pin that's in my car right now. So, I mean, the Hello Kitty love, it's immense. And then, of course, I had to get Kurobi a Sue. Um, I have the Sue Funko. I don't have many My Hero Funko Pops. Um, I got into My Hero after the first and second wave, I think. Um, but I did get Sue for Christmas and actually I did for, I think Christmas, Aaron did get me, he found a, a fig pin. I'd never seen it. He found a fig pin of Sue. And so every, they all know how much I love Sue and my hero. So I just love Kuropi. He is just, he's just so cute. So there are three of them. The My my um, Hero Academia and Hello Kitty um, Funkos. I just think they're great. But now, what we are here for. Unboxing! And this one is from USAGundamStore.com. Yes. This is a Gundam. This is actually my first Gundam. I've, I've looked into it because uh, I, just, I just think they're cool looking. And I know somewhat of Gundam. I've seen the show, um, but I don't know too much about them. And I saw this and I was like, oh, if there was a time for me to get into Gundam, it's now. So I'm very excited. This was um, a gift from my aunt. She knows how much I love Hello Kitty. And she's like, this is cool. And so she ordered me one. So thank you, Aunt Cindy. And she ordered it last year and it just came in so it wasn't for COVID I would have got this earlier but I finally have it now Woo. take that out take that out oh she is beautiful oh, oh there are two in here uh, I think she ordered two and I have one of hers but I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna keep one of them in there so I can get back to her but oh, there it is the hello kitty gundam oh this is so cool you guys look she can just be by herself or so you could turn her into the gundam which i'm definitely going to do i have enough hello kitty by herself but oh my gosh how cool is that the packaging is so nice i'm gonna keep it I'm not going to go just tearing into it. I'm going to keep the box because I think the box is amazing. From Bandai. See, this is Bandai right there. Bandai is legendary. I mean, I was uh, a Power Rangers kid. So I know Bandai. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take off the plastic. It's wrapped in this plastic um, here and here. So I'm going to carefully take that off because I want to preserve the box. I want to preserve her. She's so cool. Okay, let's see. You know, I do have the scissors, but um, I just want to do everything the hard way. <gasps> Ooh, there we go, okay. Oh yes, this is gonna keep me busy for a while. Oh, look at all of that. There we go. 
so we'll have different pieces. And there's the stickers to go on it. Oh, there's our helmet. Oh, that's so cool. I am so excited to put this together, you guys. I have a lot of time since I'm still in court. Since we're, ooh, I kicked my table, which is a bunch of comic boxes. I'm sorry, guys. I just got too excited. But, um, oh, look, this is just too cool. I'm so excited to put this together. Like I said, I have a lot of time on my hands right now because, um, I'm, we're still in quarantine and everything over here, so could not have come at a perfect time. Oh my goodness. These are in the shape of the bow. And the and, oh, and these come in the shape of her. Oh, this is so cool. See, look, okay, so this is in the shape of kitty. I'm not gonna take out the plastic just yet because I am gonna build this. Uh oh, look at that. And that's in the shape of her bow. How cool. It does come with a set of instructions. Okay. So these, they are in English and looks like, let's see. It looks like Spanish and then French and Japanese and all that. You get these. And then here's a booklet. I said, guys, this is my first Gundam. I've, I've always wanted to, to just put one together because they're so cool. And oh, how perfect is it that this is my first ever, my, my first ever Gundam. Oh, I'm so, oh, and it reads like a, oh, painting. Oh, there's painting instructions too. I don't have the paint. I might have to go get the paint. Um, I know of a good amount of places that you can go get stuff for Gundam building. I might have to do that. Oh, this is so cool, guys. Let's see. It even shows you, that, like, the pieces. Oh, let me see if I can do this. The pieces are in, like, how the Hello Kitty bow and her face shape and everything. This is just too cool. And this is all in Japanese. Um, if I wanted to read this, um, I do have an app. Uh, Google Translate is really good. You can just take a picture or you just scan over it and it reads it in real time. Um, that is not how I studied for my French classes. The moments before a test. But, uh, <laughs> but um, this seems pretty straightforward. I, oh, she even comes with an apple to sit on. So cool. I'm put these behind here so you can see it better. I'm just so into this. And then the other side is um, how to transform her into her Gundam style. Oh my goodness. This this is gonna be honestly you guys so amazing. I I can't wait to put her together. So that is Hello Kitty. How about we build her, you guys? I say let's do it. Okay, you guys, she is done. Okay, just gonna hold her very carefully. But there she is. Isn't she great? Look at that. Got her shield right there. She came with a gun, which I can probably get the gun out of the box right now. 
I'm keeping everything in here. Um, well, let me show you first. Um, I decided to put her as the Gundam. Cause I just think that's cool. I have a lot of Hello Kitty by herself, but there's her, like this is the head that goes with it, but you get her body and she actually pull down on our legs and she can sit down. See, she can sit down. Get that this way. Ooh, yeah, so she can sit down and she comes with an apple. <laughs> it's just so hard to hold it like that but yeah she she holds the apple she comes with one she sits on the apple and then here's the gundam head so you can have hello kitty and a gundam so it's like basically three figures in one um see, there's the head of my gundam the stickers are the hardest part to me because i don't have like little tools to put them on there i just have my fingers and so it's like very hard to get precise but he's so cool and of course he goes on the body and so you get two backs and the booklet said that this is um, compatible with acb5 connector for the action base 5 it's sold separately i don't know what that means like i said this is my first gundam i'm gonna learn and that sounds like something i might want to buy to put her on so you get two, um two backs so this is the one for the regular Gundam, if you want to just keep it as the Gundam, or you can get this back. She comes with one, and they're both, they both can go with that action pack stand. Um, you just can't put the, the shield on the, the back because of her helmet, which I did not put on very well. I will fix that later, but, but yeah, and so I used every piece. Um, when you are constructing it, um, there is a piece. It actually is this piece right here. You'll be like, did I miss a step? That's why I thought. But no, this part is the last step and it's in the, cause you, you, if you put together Hello Kitty first, you are putting together everything that's on the bow, um, not all together, on this part. And so this is one of the last pieces if you do it in order of the booklet. But, I mean, I'm very happy with her. I mean, she looks amazing. It probably took me about an hour. If you're a regular builder, it probably is going to take you less time. But I'm not. And I just, I just thought this was fun. She's like, stickers on the back. The stickers look amazing on her. And her, the, the one thing is, I was putting the shield in her hand. And her arm kept falling off. So you gotta be very delicate with her. And I don't wanna glue any pieces on, but hopefully she doesn't look too weird. Here, I can probably, here we go. And so you just, yeah, you just take these two pieces off. Take these two pieces off and you can put the Gundam back together. Oh, and then you put his back back on. So there he is in his final form. Look at that. And then let me put Kitty back together. I don't think you can put her together with the helmet on. And there she is. Oh, forgot the most important part of Kitty is her bow. And there's Kitty. See her feet come up and you push them back in like that. So she looks like who she is. Take them out like that to sit her down. So she can sit on her apple. And so then if you want to put Kitty as a Gundam, which is what I'm going to do, just gotta take his head off very carefully. And the, the shield will go on the back. I just don't want to do that right now. Take his head off. And then you gotta put this piece on right here. Put this piece on the correct way, Nicole. Oh, first you gotta take his, his backpack off and put this piece on. 
And then you gotta put, take her bow off, take her head off, slide her in. Let me, let me see if I can get this to close just a little bit better. Aha. Uh -huh. Put her in her helmet. Boom. And then put the bow right here. You can see slots. Boom, like that. And so now she has the part for her head to go on. Boom, and then let's give her her back. It's probably easier if you put the back on after and um, before the head, but I got it. And there you are. There's the Hello Kitty Gundam. She's all done. And so now she's ready to join the FRN family. And there we go. I want that.